Hi, my name's Justin Cooper. I'm a Territory Manager with Gallagher and also a beef producer here in the central north of Tasmania. Uh, today I thought I might take you through how I use the TWR5 Wayscale and Reader to uh, record data here on my property and also uh, track the performance of my animals. So let's uh, head down to the yards and uh, go through it. So to start off we'll need three main components. Number one, our load bars, they're 600 mil bars, two and a half ton rated. They're really good to go underneath a platform or a sheep handler. Then we'll need our uh, weigh scale. So this is a TWR5 uh, with inbuilt reader. Um, this one gives us the opportunity to record up to nine bits of data per session and our uh, panel antenna to help us uh, read the tag. So now we're down at the yards. I've got my platform in the crush with my two and a half ton bars underneath it. I've zippy tied my panel antenna to the side of the crush and I've got my TWR5. So we just need to connect them up. Our panel antenna goes in our right hand port, our two left load bars in the left hand ports. So now we just need to connect them. So we just go settings, equipment connections. As you can see, it's already picked up the two and a half ton bars. So now we just need to connect our reader. So just tap on reader, panel antenna, done, ready to go. You'll know as soon as it's ready because all of a sudden the little R down in the bottom there will brighten up. So now we need to take a little bit of time to set up the session. Um, as you can see, it's pretty bright here this morning. So first thing I'm going to do is go in to device settings, local settings, and I'm going to go to screen brightness. And I'm going to punch that all the way up to 100% so that it makes it a hell of a lot easier to see the screen. We'll head back out, just hit the home button. So I actually set a session up for this last night at home. Um, I find it easier to have your sessions already set up before you come down to the yards. Just takes a lot of the stress out of it. You haven't got cattle mooing and crying and bellowing in the background. So what I'm gonna do is here, I'm just gonna hit resume. And you'll see this is a session I set up uh, last night. So you can see there it's on overload. That's okay, cause we've just uh, connected it. So all I'm gonna do is hit zero, bang, and you're back. So what I'll do is I'll take you into the uh, options here and I'll show you exactly what I've done. So we're actually gonna wean, well, we've weaned calves earlier in the week. So I'm just actually inducting them today. So this is the first time they've ever been through the yards. So I've got a few traits already set up, ready to go. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna give them a Cobra Life, which is a B12 plus selenium, and a, a Cytectin LA, long acting drench. And then I'm actually going to put their birth, date of birth in, their group, their 2021 drop. They're all female. I've only got heifers in this mob and their tag is yellow. So I've already got that set. You can go in and create all those different traits and all that in the uh, traits and activities part of the settings. Um, as an example, when you're, you're setting up your treatments, you can put in um, the dose rates and all that sort of stuff as well. So that's all done. Another little thing I like to do is uh, hit advanced and you'll see here EID required. Make sure that's turned on. That's really, really handy because it won't lock a weight unless it's read the tag. So if you're just in weighing mode and you're punching them through, you won't accidentally misweigh one. It'll have to read the tag before it locks the weight. Uh, the rest of those probably don't worry about it too much at this point. So done and save. So we're all good to go now. You can see these are all the traits set up along here and when we tag scan the first tag they'll start auto populating so let's go bring some heifers in so to add a note just hit add note and this animal's name is actually sunny so we'll just type that in hit done happy days and then just go back out and you'll see the notes recorded there sunny just an example of how quick it reads the tag. You don't... Beep, that's the tag read. Weight lock. Data recorded. And just like that, we're all done. So now we can go back and have a look at some of the statistics in the session. Um, there you can see um, groups, my drafting groups and the number, the minimum weight, maximum weight and average weight of each group. And then a, uh, a total weight of the um, 44, or oh, 43 animals, sorry. Um, then we can go to animals. Then you can see in here, um, 
that you've got your weights down this side and the notes on this side and then if we scroll across the screen we can also see the data that I recorded against each animal um, then we can also go back we can hit that little button there and it brings our weight distribution up so you can see the majority of the animals or the larger group of animals between 294 and 310 kilos um, if you do want to dial in on an animal you can simply hit the animal in that screen and then bring that animal back up so that's a pretty handy little trick so from here um, what you can do is you can connect this device straight to uh, the hotspot on your smartphone and then sync it to the cloud or what I like to do is take it home and do it from home tonight then that gives you all this data accessible on your smartphone tablet or PC um, mm -hmm. and you can go in and manipulate that data any which way you might like to well, there we go another session complete so I've just put these 26 cows through updated their data um, and gave them a uh, B12 plus a cytectin poron. Um, I can, same as before, I can just pop over here. I can see all the animals. I can see the data I've recorded on them. So I've put them all into their drop groups, the color tags. So now I'm gonna take it home and um, sync it back to the cloud. So the easiest way, if you're just shutting it down for a little while, just hit the power button, puts it to sleep. Um, that way you don't have to go through the full startup again.